Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this VS Code Pro Tip, we're going to be talking about to-dos. Now, I am the type of person who loves to leave to-dos in my code, but I'm not the type of person who always remembers to complete those to-dos. So I've instituted a new tool, which I plan on using much more often, and this is going to be something called to-do tree. Now, as you can see, if you do a hyphen hyphen and then to-do in all caps, we can just add a to-do. Now, the reason why this turns orange is because of a, another extension I have called Better Comments. If you like the fact that this is orange, uh, you could use that extension to do other things like maybe an asterisk to make it green or um, let's see, a question mark to make it blue. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about to do tree. OK, so I've made it to do. Now, typically what you're going to do is you're going to maybe do a command find for all to do's in your project and you're going to look for all of them and then you're going to try to complete them. But honestly, you know, you have to open up the find the search compatible bar. You have to then search for to do. And then anytime uh, you, you're making a change or before updates, you're going to have to do that manually. Now, that's fine. It's not like it's hard or anything. But one thing that I love is this plugin called to do tree. It looks like this. It's by Grunt Fugly, which is fantastic. It's been downloaded 1.7 million times. It has lots of five star reviews and it's very cool because this does more than just to do's, okay? This does a ton of stuff. In fact, just give this little documentation a scroll and you can see this does a whole lot of stuff, okay? So what kind of stuff does it do? Well, it allows you to leave comments in your code and it catalogs them in this giant to do tree. It's a to do tree, imagine that. So what's up with the to do tree? Well, you can see all of your to do's and then we can see, okay, here's the one I just did. And here it is ready to be done. But like I said, this does more than just to do's. In fact, if we leave a few more of these and have one of them be a hack, or one of them be fix me, or one of them be bug, you can see, or one of them even uh, XXX. Now I have no idea what XXX is supposed to be doing here, but it makes it into an X. So fine. I'm sure some base, some, some code bases may have more XXX tags than others, right? Um, but as you can see here, it gives them all fun little icons. We have the wrench, the fire, the bug, or the X for the triple X and the check mark for the to do. And this allows us to quickly and easily see things in our code base that need to be taken care of. Like if you want to have a hack that needs to be updated at some point, you could leave this hack comment in here. And that way everyone can see where exactly there's something hacky that may need to be updated later. Now, in addition, I mostly use this for to do as you can see, I don't have any of these other ones littered in my code base because I don't write hacky code, right? Um, and I don't write things that are broken, so I don't need fix me. Either way, this allows me to quickly and easily see. Now, more than just having them all like this, this looks cluttered, right? So I prefer if you come here to the view, show view tags only, and we select this, you can get to this show tree version of this. And this tree version will simply just show you all of the to do's and just the to do's. Now I should remove some of these. Some of these are non essential, right? Maybe I should change them for uh, like, maybe I could come up with my own custom tag that's like to do later, <laughs> like not to do right now. Or I could just leave them as to do. But either way, this allows you to do all of that and more. And let me show you a little bit if we head into our preferences, and we go to settings, and we look for to do tree, you can see there's 66 settings for to do tree. And that's not like a little bit here. You can see there's a ton of stuff where um, you can tell it what to ignore. You can give it custom tags where you have a brackets or an X bracket for maybe something that's being done, or you can add your own items in here and you can have your own custom uh, to do's. You can have highlighted colors. You can have custom colors. You can have custom icons, I believe. There's a handful of icons that they make available to you. Uh, I have not really gotten that in depth with it, but as you can see, uh, there is a ton of options. Group by tag, hide icons when group by tag, hide tag when empty. Like this is not a, just it's not a bare bones, just list all of your to-dos, the same thing as command F on everything. We have a ton of things in here. Scan tree at startup. Uh, here's the format, tag after. 
oh wow, this is so, so cool. So if you're like me and you like writing to do's in your code, but you all often lose track of them or forget to search for them, this is gonna be the perfect plugin for you. And I'm gonna maybe just start tweaking this a little bit more to get some more colors in here. Maybe if there's a bug or something, I'll have it be red, or maybe I can have my own custom icon for, um, you know, fix later. Maybe there's a clock or something I can add for that. Either way, I think you'll love this thing. To do tree is one of my favorite extensions by Grunt Fugly. So shout out to Grunt Fugly for this one. And give this thing a download. VS Code Pro Tip right here. So check back on Wednesday when we have another What is Wednesday where we break down web development topics into five minute or so what is videos now there's no time limit on these videos but they're they're quick they're quick videos on all sorts of topics we also have a new series called weekly svelte where we talk about svelte topics every single friday if you like svelte or are curious about svelte you're svelte curious come on over to weekly svelte and we talk about libraries in svelte we talk about uh, updates to svelte svelte kit all that and more our platform level up tutorials is built on Svelte. It's my favorite framework. You can see here, we have a new course on Svelte 3D that just came out. If you wanna learn all about 3D in the browser, this is the place to be, leveluptutorials.com. Thanks so much for watching. See you next week.